In August 2022, all the sections of a rare P-47 Thunderbolt arrived at the Commodity Air Force Air Base, Georgia, in Peachtree City. This P-47 is expected to be a long-term restoration project and, when completed, will join the noteworthy Air Base, Georgia fleet of operating aircraft. Affectionately nicknamed the Jug, the P-47 was one of the most famous American fighter planes of World War II. Although originally conceived as a lightweight interceptor, the P-47 eventually developed as a heavy fighter and made its first flight on May 6, 1941. The first production model was delivered to the American Air Forces in March 1942, and in April 1943, the Thunderbolt flew its first combat mission, a sweep over Western Europe. Used as both a high-altitude escort fighter and a low-level fighter bomber, the P-47 quickly gained a reputation for ruggedness. Its sturdy construction and air-cooled radial engine enabled the Thunderbolt to absorb severe battle damage and keep flying. During World War II, the P-47 served in almost every active war theater and in forces of several allied nations. By the end of World War II, more than 15,600 Thunderbolts had been built. The CAF Air Base Georgia P-47 Thunderbolt did not see World War II combat, but it was used effectively in Nicaragua and Guatemala in 1950s. The CAF acquired the aircraft in 1962, but it was heavily damaged in 2022 when it caught fire during takeoff, severely burning part of the fuselage and the right wing. It did have an interesting career south of the border in Central America. This P-47, in fact, was a legend in Guatemala and Nicaragua during its service there. On January 15, 1955, during a border dispute with Costa Rica, Major Amador of the Nicaraguan Air Force shot down an opposing F-51D Mustang with this very Thunderbolt, therefore making this P-47 the last ever to have an aerial victory. The CAF P-47 never fired her guns in anger again, serving Nicaragua peacefully until the end of her military service in 1963. One of the CAF's founding members, Lloyd Nolan, bought the aircraft on February 11, 1963 and brought her back to the U.S. to become part of the nation's command of the Air Force. And there, her American history began again. Looking nearly complete, structurally speaking at least, there is a lot of work remaining, especially with the aircraft systems, airframe, and the need for a new engine before the fighter can head aloft once more. Anyone wishing to support this project, please visit airbasegeorgia.org.